We are in the middle of a war, one that's been going on forever. To protect the secret so powerful that if revealed, it would devastate the very foundations of mankind. Let me start by saying I think director Ron Howard has made a superior thriller out of Dan Brown's bestseller, The Da Vinci Code. The movie not only follows the novel religiously, but I think it's far more absorbing and enjoyable. Demons, omens, codes, monks, Da Vinci. The story begins with a symbologist enlisted by police to help with a shocking murder that will raise terrifying questions. Tom Hanks is Robert Langdon, the professor who could meet the same deadly fate if he can't decipher the curator's final desperate message. Dear God. The victim was shot in the Louvre. He managed to scrawl a code of clues in his own blood. The corpse is found in a pose within a design by Da Vinci. You're saying all this is real? Real enough to kill for. Audrey Tattoo is Sophie, the curator's granddaughter. She's also a police investigator who teams up with Langdon to follow the trail of mystical symbols. If that's not enough, could she also be a link to Mary Magdalene? This is a symbol for Venus represents the female half of all three. You are telling me that uh, Sonia's last act on Earth was to draw a goddess symbol on his chest? Why? Ian McKellen is Sir Teabing, an old friend who Langdon is sure can help in his quest. He knows there are secrets in the church with implications for all mankind. Witness the biggest cover-up in human history. Paul Bettany is Silas, a ghostly albino monk prone to self-flagellation. He'll go to any lengths to protect the secret. Langdon's journey takes him across breathtaking landscapes in England and France. Given the longevity and lore of the Catholic Church, I think all the controversy over the mysteries of Christ's past and the Holy Grail are understandable, even if unwarranted. The silence will be broken. You must explode the truth. The performances by Tom Hanks and the rest of the cast hit just the right notes, and they don't overplay their parts. There's enough high drama here with just the plot. I was thoroughly entertained and engrossed by the movie, although I did up wondering why such a crucial mystery to humanity turns into a scavenger hunt. I give The Da Vinci Code three stars, and I'm Roger Ebert, ABC7 News.